audio, visual on the mic is Swayze. If you wanna have fun, then this the place to be. Morning show recorded, giving you the info daily. Yeah, you can't be bored with this show. Teachers better turn on your board before I go. We keep you in the loop and we keep you in the know. Like the dress code, no cap, getting back to the show. Good morning, DFA. I'm morning. Amelia Lampkin. And I'm Robert Green. And today is Thursday, February the 20th. Today will be raining with a high of 46 and a low of 33. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. Attention sophomores, the Attention. time the time has come to order your official class of 2022 rings. Go to Jostens.com to design your custom class ring. The Jostens representative will be here today to take your orders at lunch in the comments. Don't forget to bring your order form and a $60 deposit on Jostens ring order on Jostens ring order day. And My name is Taylor and I'm Kennedy and we, we are two Vecta. And we're also part of Yearbook. Yearbook prices end April 28th, and they are currently $70. So you better pre-order them now. Also, we're making partial payments to, to make sure you finish those also by April 28th, which is coming up quick. Yep, and if you're interested in joining the Yearbook team next year, then you need to submit an application to Ms. Mojanesi by February 28th, which is next Friday. You can find them on her website and in person. Today's lunch is baked spaghetti with breadsticks, hot turkey and Swiss sub with fixings, crisp garden salad, seasoned potato wedges, fresh fruit, and milk. <laughs> and now for a moment in black history with Layla Stone. Welcome back to another moment in black history. Today we'll be talking about Maya Angelou. She is impossible to define. An author, a poet, a civil rights activist, an actress, a dancer. Marguerite Johnson was born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1928. When As a child, she formed a strong bond with her brother who gave her the nickname Maya. Although she had always penned lyrics and poetry, she finally began pursuing her writing more seriously. She moved to Harlem and joined the Harlem Writers Guild. Her rich life served as the inspiration for her memoir, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. Published in 1970, covering the early years of her life, it was a critical and commercial triumph. She was asked by incoming President Bill Clinton to compose a poem, which she would recite at the inauguration. Since 1981, she has served as a Reynolds Professor of American Studies at Wake Forest and she has still found time to act in films and even host a radio show on Oprah Winfrey's XM Radio Network. That is it, folks. Oh, yeah, pretty and we have a quote. <sighs> you will never change your life until you change something you do daily. Where'd you come from? 